Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about application of chi-square test. So, what is the purpose of chi-square test? Where we apply the chi-square test? So, purpose is for testing the statistical significance of the association between two qualitative variables. So, for chi-square, we can apply to find the association between two categorical variables. For example, if we want to know if there is any association between gender and smoking, if such kind of the data, we can apply chi-square test. And in another way, is there any association between taking aspirin and risk of heart attack in the population. If such kind of the objective and we are going to analyze the data, we can apply the chi-square test. And another way we can, if we are going to analyze the data to test whether lung cancer is associated with smoking or not, in that case, we can apply the chi-square test. And another way, if we are going to calculate to find the association between diabetes and type of occupations. So we can apply the chi-square test. And some another way, if we want to test of association, smoking and cancer, treatment and outcome of disease, and vaccination and immunity, if such kind of the categorical data are available, so we can apply the chi-square test. Few another points which is very important, like simplest and most widely used non-parametric test in statistical. So in statistics, there are two kinds of the test, parametric test and non-parametric test. These techniques will discuss separately in another video. So here we are talking chi-square test. So chi-square test formula, we are, know this is the notation of the chi, uh, chi-square. So this is the chi-square equal to summation i equal to 1, oi minus ei whole square divided by EI. So this is like this. This is whole summation. So here O represents the observed number of frequency means already which is given in the question and out of that observed number will create the expected number of frequency which is represented by E. So how will we get the expected number? So there is the one formula which is known as absorbed frequency summation, absorbed frequency minus expected frequency divided by expected frequency. So this is the summation. This is the chi-square. This formula we can interpret like this, this one. So same way. Oi means absorbed frequency. Ei means expected frequency divided by expected frequency. This is about simple uh, application and concept of the chi 